You play mummy hair. <laughs> you play with your mummy's hair. And Clifford is coming to say hello as well. Mm. Oh, I love you so much. And he left you at lunch yesterday. Mm. Did you eat a lot? Yeah. We're gonna have to get you some more, baby. I'm currently just sat here in amongst chaos. <laughs> I've just filmed a Home Bargains and a B&M haul, which is exciting because I've had these bags in the utility for weeks now. How cute is that to go on the doorstep at the front? Um, I've still got the Christmas one down there, so bad. Um, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the start of this week's weekly vlog. So it has been a while. I've actually, oh, did you drop it? Pick it up, it's okay. Let's put it on your tray, yeah? There you go. Um, so, <laughs> I actually started trying to film a vlog over the course of several different days, um, and just it didn't happen. So, basically, we'll do that one in a minute, okay? Do those three first of all, because you've got lots out there. Um, sorry, she's just playing with some new play doh that I got her when we popped in Aldi yesterday. Um, basically, how are you all um it has been a wild ride over here that is just putting it um as like delicately as i can so we are back after half term so half term um I do, i'm not really a fan of the february half term i actually say this every year um it's always like that time isn't it like after christmas the weather's not always particularly that great um the Monday was quite nice and bright, but then after that it was got grey, miserable raining. Um, so we didn't really get up to much. So I always say um, we need to go away in the February half term as like something to look forward to after like, Christmas. And obviously like winter just seems like it's been going on forever. <laughs> um, and yeah, on the school run today, we, when we were driving up um, towards Ollie's school, there was, yeah, there was so many daffodils out and it's just got me really excited for spring and summer now. So yeah, I'm fully focused on that. Um, but I am back. I feel like I have actually said that in so many vlogs because I've taken like a bit of a hiatus and then come back saying I'm back. Um, but hopefully I am back. I tend to, if you've not noticed this about me, when I'm struggling or when something's going on, I tend to just shut myself off. That seems to be how, like how I deal with it. Um, rightly or wrongly it's just I have to get through it before I can like I have to just like face I don't know I know what I'm trying to say but my words are just mash so today is Tuesday um I didn't start I was going to start vlogging yesterday but I actually filmed a cleaning video which should already be up on my channel if it is I'll link it here because my house got absolutely absolutely annihilated in the half room so I walked in and you know when you just look around and I thought I need to get on top of this house so I didn't even do my workout yesterday so my plan you want that I'll get that one now I'm just gonna hang my coat up on the door because that's what we do um yeah mummy will do it now if you darling the plan for today is it's currently 20 past nine I'm gonna make my smoothie um which I'll show you in a second. I've put it in a couple of my That's other so videos. Um, I measured it all out on my fitness pal. So I'll leave everything in the description, but like I kind of like weighed out what I typically put in that. Cause I just wanted to make sure I was on track like with my calories and my protein. Um, so yeah, it's quite a good one and quite a good way to like start the day. It's like a bit of a, it might not seem it because it's a shake, but there's a good fair few calories in there and a good amount of protein. Um, so I'll leave that in the description bar, but then I'm going to run around upstairs, make the beds. I didn't have time to make my bed. I'm sure Ollie's bed isn't made either. Just potter around. I actually fully cleaned upstairs yesterday, so it should just be a case of making the beds and then coming down. Um, I'm going to get all my workout stuff ready and I want to head around and get that done early doors because I kind of like drag out and drag out and then I'm heading around at like midday and then I'm not done till after one and then I come back and then it's kind of like a bit of a lull so I thought if I can go around there early get it done um I'm gonna see if that works a little bit better but I'm gonna go and open some play-doh and then um I will show you my breakfast smoothie I need to let Clifford in as well um and yeah I'm excited to spend the day with you well I'm hoping this will be a weekly vlog so I'm just gonna try and include clips from obviously the days this week Special, one of a kind, one of the better 
Okay, so I have just made the shake. Um, I've shared before, like how I put it all together. I literally just pop it all in um, my Ninja like cup. It came with the blender, and then I'll just mix it all up. So I'll leave a link. Well, no, I'll leave the recipe that I use in the description. I've literally been having it for years. I don't tend to like having like a really heavy breakfast. I've never been like a breakfast eater. Um, and so I, sometimes I would even skip it. So I find this is the perfect way to make sure I'm like getting something in. Um, so yeah, I just love it. I have this pretty much every morning. <laughs> um, and that way I can pop all my like supplements and things in there. Cause I've got, um, so I've got the cupboard open. So I wanna smack my head on it. So I've got um, like my balanced tonic. So this is really good um, for like your hormones, especially if you've um, like got periods that are really heavy. Um, after penny mine were slightly crazy so i've been taking that since about august and i've noticed a huge difference even in terms of my mood and i also got the clean greens now i tried to have this with just water and it is i can't do it honestly i cannot stomach it um so i pop it in it's in there um with my protein powder oh thank you just leave it down there because i'll get the rest of it in a minute yeah, I pop it in with my protein powder and everything that, and all mixed up, you can't even taste it. So I just find it's a really good way to get all my like supplements like that in. Um, and obviously I can just take it around with me and drink as I'm getting my other jobs done. So what I've been doing while I haven't been on camera is, shut the thing covered up. I have taken all of Penny's washing that you saw on the air down. Um, I've got to get that dress down to be ironed. I've got a dark coat in. What's wrong? Huh? Fishies? Phone? Yeah. You cheeky, shall I put something on telly for you? No, phone. Oh, right, you can look at my phone in a second. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to mix this up really quickly and then I'm going to head upstairs and um, get the beds made. I definitely like to have my bed made because if I don't have my bed made, it just, I don't know, I just don't, <laughs> it like sets me up for the day even though it is like quarter to ten. So we're going to mix this up and then go and make the beds. Okay, so beds are all made. Um, we're about to head, um, go for a little walk to my sister so I can do my workout. So when I get there, I'll show you my, um, I'm still using the sweat app. My challenge that I did, the six week one, has now finished, I finished that last week. So I had to reset up um, like a new workout, like select which workout. Um, program I wanted to do so that app is so good I pay for it you can pay for it annually but I just do it monthly I think you save money hang on baby I'm just gonna pick, pick your duplo up I think if you do do it um annually you do save drop you do save some money but I just do it monthly just because it's quite a lot to initially go out in one lump sum um so it just goes out every month like as a subscription obviously you can cancel it at any time um if you don't want to do it anymore so there's so much in there you can choose from though like like workouts for every single um like person so whether you're like a beginner whether you want low impact high impact whether you want to do um gym focused workouts whether you want to do pilates things like that um so i really really rate it so what i've opted to do this time can i put this big coat on is um what is it? It's a Kayla Itsimi's. So there's different trainers in there also. Um, I just really enjoy the Kayla Itsimi's um, workout. So I think she's like the founder of it. Um, so yeah, I'll pop on to my phone and show you when I get there. Um, but yeah, I'm starting a new week this week. So obviously it is Tuesday. I didn't work out yesterday like I explained. So it doesn't matter because the weeks run, I think from Sunday to Sunday. So you have until Sunday to get it done. I mean, obviously if you don't get it done, you don't get it done. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, I can, obviously I can't, yesterday's a rest day. I can have a couple more rest days in between. Um, so I'm probably gonna do today, tomorrow. What's that, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm gonna try and do Thursday as well. Probably have Friday off and then do Saturday and then have Sunday off. So we'll see how we go. But yeah, mummy, come on. We're gonna get Penny's scooter. It's in the boot of the car. She likes to go on her scooter, don't you, when she shears? Yeah, and she's been doing so well with her um, potty training. So you didn't do wee-wees in pants last night, did you? All night she was dry when she woke up. Um, and so far she's been dry. We've just had a wee-wee on the toilet, haven't we? Mm. Are you good girl? You play mama's hair. 
<laughs> you play with your mummy's hair. And Clifford is coming to say hello as well. Mm. Oh, I love you so much. I love you. Right, let's go to Shishas, yeah? yeah? You excited to go to Shishas? Oh, are you excited to go to Shishas? Come on then. Right, guys, let's go to get this workout done. Come on then. Okay, I have you balanced on my Stanley Cup. Um, so I have, just have to borrow a, I need to wash my hair. I've got a new shampoo, I'll show you when I go home, um, but <laughs> it's not in a good way. Um, so today I'm gonna do, um, I think it's lower body. I don't think they class it as legs, um, it's like lower body. So I'm gonna, that is today's focus. Um, I'm gonna just quickly, once I put my hair up, I'm gonna log into the app and um, show you the one I've opted for so bear in mind I am already six weeks well this is week seven so I don't need to start like what you find a lot of the time on this app is when you start a program um you can pick whereabouts you want to fall so if you if you're like brand new to working out you've had like a long break you can start off at beginner and it kind of just like eases you in gently so i skipped that so it's like eight weeks in this particular one that i've opted for so oh no oh that's okay i just so i opted for the high intensity kayla it see needs so if you see this is obviously week one so i've got le oh it is legs so legs you don't have to do this in order it's obviously just there for you um you've got arms and abs then you've got full body, focusing on my face, sorry, hold on. Full body, so that was the arms and abs one. Um, and then you have, this one is optional, so express full body. So this one, you don't have to do that one. Um, I'm gonna try and get it done. So if I just click into legs, because this is the one I've opted for today. So as you can see, it tells you here what you're gonna need, the equipment. And then this one, this is what I like because it's base, it's split up into circuits. So you've got circuit one um, and then circuit two. Circuit three is just circuit one repeated. And then circuit four is just circuit two repeated. So what you do, it tells you here, there's four exercises and you, oh, we're going blurry again. So there's four exercises in the circuit and you've got seven minutes to um, complete the moves. So the timer is built into the app so um i'll just put my airpods in put my spotify on so you've got to do 20 reps 10 per side of knee ups skipping 50 reps squat 15 reps reverse lunge 20 reps to 10 per side so you basically do one two three four with the nominated number of reps however many times you can get through the circuits within uh, seven minutes then i'm pretty certain it's a one minute break and then you do the same for um, circuit two and so on and so on until you have completed it all. So this is very similar to um, the original Kayla It Seems BBG, I think it was called, um, which I loved that. So I did that after I had Ollie, um, really loved it, completely transformed my like body. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I opted for this one. So this is like a 24 week program. So you can come in and out of them. You don't like, once you've selected it, you don't have to stick on it. Um, so yeah, I've got obviously like everything I need. Um, you don't need a huge amount of um, equipment. It's just mainly dumbbells. So the reason I do it here instead of mm, at my house, because I think the highest dumbbell I've got is probably like a seven, but they're really old. They're ones where you put the, you slide the weight onto the bar and they just feel really rickety and I don't know. Whereas she's got like a whole set here. Um, obviously not that I'm going anywhere, <laughs> anywhere near the, this sort of level. Um, but I can kind of like challenge myself. I don't use any of like this equipment. Um, maybe one day, I just really like these sort of um, workouts. So what I, I have just substituted something called an X jump just because it's quite, the impact is quite a lot on my knee. My knee has been so clicky since I had Penny. Um, so you can actually substitute exercises. So if you didn't have like a particular weight or whatever, or the equipment that it specifies, you can, um, change it and it gives you a whole list of 
different ones that target the same sort of muscle group that they're going for um, which I really enjoy so um, I don't think I'm going to film the whole lot um, I usually do a five minute warm up I'm going to do that on the peloton um, so I've just turned that on ready so um, yeah because it not, I might try and do a ten minute one but today I'm just going to keep it to five minutes just because it's I only did two workouts last week so I feel like I'm getting back into it again and obviously today is legs so I don't really want to go like overboard making my legs too too tired before I even get into the workout so then what I might do is I might just once I've done each circuit through once and I go to repeat it I might just set the camera up she's got a tripod in there because she films her workouts um for her um Instagram and um, I might just pop I'm sure it can go on the tripod if not then I can maybe just put you on a standing or something i can balance you somewhere um and i'll just show you a couple of the moves but yeah this, i'm gonna go and get this done um i'm not gonna do it in my big fleece i brought a t-shirt round with me so this is what i do i bring i have to bring everything um all right so penny's actually sat in with my sister so she's she is working she works from home most of the time um but she's just in and out of meetings um online so penny's just got the ipad set up and just some snacks she's gonna sit in sit inside so what time is it quarter past 11 so hopefully i should be done by about 12 which is a lot earlier because um like last week and like the week before i wasn't getting around here till 12 so really i'd like it done by like half 11 if i could so tomorrow i might try and get around here a little bit earlier um yeah i'm gonna put my music on and then we will hopefully feel a lot better after we've done this and excuse i've completely cut out all the footage um because obviously i've just started the vlog again so if you're wondering what this mark is here i thought i'd broken my nose um i'll tell you about it when i get home but i just thought because the sun's like it's really bright outside so it's actually picking up like all the blemishes on um my skin brilliant um but yeah i've got a lovely bruise straight across there um it hurt it hurt a lot <laughs> um so yeah i've just had a bit of a nightmare i'm not gonna lie um but yeah i'm gonna find a playlist and get on with this workout give it up i think i've had enough i'm too busy loving my friends i ain't got no love to spare for you i'm gonna be that girl to the end it don't really matter you do guess i have to tell you again because you haven't got the news but you really need to understand that i don't want to be your my workout excuse the state of me um i was just sending a picture to my sister when i get home i'm going to tell you like a whole story time um basically i just was like what did i just done i forgot on the ups and skipping i was trying to catch my breath i'm like really <laughs> my fitness is completely shot and out of the corner of my eye i see something really orange and it's a robin and i'm like oh hello like i always say nan and john like my nan and granddad and um then another one comes and lands straight by the side of it i'm going to insert a picture here so you can see so i was just trying to do a little video to show my sister because um we always say uh it's nan and john um coming to say hello but yeah she just made me really happy so if you're wondering why i just randomly stopped that is the reason why now i need to get back to my workout because this is literally taking longer than it needs to okay so i'm back home now as you can probably tell from the surroundings um 
I'm really sorry I only filmed one circuit. The, my battery started blinking at me. I don't know why I didn't think to check it. Um, I've got, when I bought this camera, because I use the Canon G7X, I think it's the Mark II. Um, and I think I was saying a few weeks ago, because Penn is like tipped the tripod before while the camera's been on the tripod so the screen is not in the best of ways it's holding up right at the minute but i looked at um like maybe potentially replacing it because i think when i bought this when i very first started youtube because i was using my dad's camera for ages and then i took um i just like invested in getting this camera and i think it's like 400 pounds when i've looked at it it's like 600 pounds now i'd like i thought well we will not be replacing that um so yeah my I bought a couple of extra batteries so the battery that's in here now it isn't an actual Canon one so I think it just says it's got like say two bars out of three and then it just goes from like that to nothing doesn't really give you any prior warnings I probably need to invest in a couple of um actual couple more of Canon batteries um because they seem to hold up really really well um because I think if this did eventually like die or whatever I would probably just get another Canon camera anyway that's really random um, so yeah, that's probably why you only saw one circuit. So essentially I did that circuit. So you do those four moves as many times as you can for the number of reps in the seven minutes and you do the next circuit. So you do like obviously the circuit twice. So 14 minutes worth of that circuit I would have done. And then two of the other ones. So I'll, um, I'll try and film again when I do a workout. I'll bring the camera with me, make sure my battery's charged up. So yeah, I was going to tell you... Um, <laughs> about my news so i have got fun fact i have got three bags in my utility with little bits that i've been um that i've picked up in b&m and home bargains because i thought do you know what i'm gonna do a haul because when i looked back i haven't done a haul since the end of november and it is like basically the end of february now um which is just really unheard of for me because i love it in there but i've been trying to be really conscious i think i said this last year a lot as well because I would just take myself to B&M and Home Bargains as like my therapy and obviously you know when you go in there it's really hard not to buy things and I would although we do use most things I was like sorry we just had a weather warning come up for yellow warning of rain that's brilliant isn't it we never miss the rain here um yeah although we use most things I feel like you can buy maybe for the sake of it and I'm trying to really ring myself in on the Easter stuff because I've got like a whole box full <sighs> sorry oh sorry that's really rude of me i couldn't help that one i'm really sorry um yeah i've got a whole box of easter decor so really we don't need anything i've just got some crafty bits for um the kids because they love bits like that but anyway i want to film a haul but i when i went into home bargains they had their um their um like mm, like their fitness section where they do like protein bars things that are all on offer and i really like this brand i don't know if it's pronounced it's on or on and they do like a vanilla pre-made up shake and i used to drink that last year and then they stopped doing it in there i couldn't get hold of it and it was so much more expensive off of amazon um but the one i get was a smaller one and it had 25 grams of protein and the calories weren't that bad at all my sister managed to get a hold of some bigger ones and it was 50 grams of protein in the shake um anyway so it was two bars for three pounds so i just picked up a couple to try so this has got 20 grams of um high protein and it's the chocolate brownie crunch so i thought i would just have that i did notice um obviously i have my shake but maybe i need to have like i don't know something before it like a pre-workout i stopped i stopped taking those because i felt like it was affecting my skin but i'm feeling like um i'm getting a bit lightheaded and things so i think i do need like a pre-workout before i work out <laughs> um so i might look into that maybe i can borrow one of my uh, just use one of some of my sisters i know she's probably got some she's got loads of stuff at her house but yeah i was going to tell you about this so anyway oh my gosh that was the longest winded i've not my brain's just gone back I'm really sorry guys if you're still here i'm really th thank you for bearing with me the story was that i got on to b m and told you about my shop at b m there will be a haul coming but anyway uh, it was raining and i'd gone with my sister and it was obviously dark so it was on an evening and the boot on our car so um you just like press a button and it lifts and then you just 
press a button and it goes back down so you don't like pull it down or anything but i must not have realized so i'd press the button for it to open expecting like it does every time for it to fully open and i fully walked into it but the court the like if you can imagine the boots not fully come so i've just gone smack so not even into like the flat but it's not like i've just face planted it was like the edge of the metal boot I'm not joking, I saw stars and I wobbled. I actually thought, without being like a dramatic Emma, I thought I was gonna pass out and I had, um, like not to spoil my haul or anything, I got these glass jars to put my Epsom bath salts in for when our bathroom is done. Um, and I just was clutching them, <laughs> clutching them with their life. But I didn't smash them, I didn't by the way. I'm very proud of myself, but yeah. So it was, I thought I'd broken my nose because down here it had gone really purple. Um, luckily it didn't come to too much, but I had visions of me waking up in the morning with like a full black eye and I was thinking, oh my goodness, how am I gonna do the school run like that? Luckily it wasn't, it was obviously just bruised and obviously there was not a lot of fat there at all is there. So it was very, very painful, but um, yeah, it's not, oh, that did hurt a little bit. It's not too bad now, but obviously I've still got the mark. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair in a second. Um, I'm just gonna eat my protein bar. So I'm actually gonna um, put the mask in that came with it. So I'll show you once I've washed my hair because I've just put Penny down for a nap. So um, she's been skipping her naps, especially over half term, obviously like with the other two, um, Darcy and Ollie at home as well. Um, so she's just been skipping her naps, but my sister said I could hear she was sat watching Frozen. Um, my sister's got like an iPad similar to the one Tom got me for my birthday. I actually wanted it because I saw her one with the keyboard. Um, so Penny just sits her good as gold watching the iPad because it's obviously quite a bigger screen. It's a lot bigger than Darcy and Ollie's one. Um, and she was just yawning and she, you know what, you can tell when they're tired. And I said, I'm actually gonna start to put her down for a nap because when we went to pick Ollie up from school yesterday, she fell asleep in the car and I woke her up to go and get Ollie and she had the mother of all tantrums where she didn't wanna wake up obviously. So what time is it now? It's um, 12.47, so I put her down about half past 12. So even if she, even if I get her up about half past one, um, 20 to two, I don't really want her sleeping much past two o'clock because then three, four, five, Oh, that might be okay basically what i when i was just letting her nap through she maybe have like two and a half hours it was coming up to like three o'clock um and i'd have to get tom to go and get ollie and then obviously she's only got three and a half hours before we start getting her ready for bed so i feel like that sort of time is not enough so i need to like bring it forward if that makes sense so um i'm going to try and go around and do my workout earlier tomorrow if i can get around there about half past 10 that'll be perfect because then we should be home by like half past 11 so if I yeah we should be home by about half past 11 quarter to 12 and then I can maybe get her down because obviously now she's gonna miss her lunch um obviously not miss it I'm gonna give her lunch when she wakes up so if I get her up about half past one that should be fine so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and wash my hair guys I'm gonna go and wash my hair and then I will show you our ensuite Tom has started work on our ensuite because I ordered a shower tray <laughs> and a shower screen um because the tiles, obviously, you remember my bargain 20 pound tiles that we got from Wix. They're still in the like tour room. Nothing more has been done. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to order the shower tray and the um, screen. Got it really cheap actually off of eBay. It's brand new. Um, but just off of, because I was looking on Victoria Plum, um, all places this. But like for the shower tray, I wanted it. was like three, four hundred pounds. And I basically got like the same one on eBay for 199 pounds. And the reviews are really good. Um, so yeah, I will show you that. Um, and hopefully I can show you an ensuite progressing because I can't wait to just have a shower in a decent shower because I feel like it doesn't wash out very well in our little trickle of water. But yeah, Clifford update, he doesn't have his, he's just, can you see, you see his towel? Oh, sorry, Clifford, you don't do that on camera, boy. Um, his bandage is off, his towel's doing really, really well. So the vets have said, unless it starts bleeding again, he shouldn't need his bandage back on. He's finished his antibiotics. Um, so yeah, we're just obviously really conscious of him when he walks around because he's just constantly wagging his towel. So we're just trying to keep him away from the doorways. Um, but yeah, he is just living his best little Clifford life, aren't you, boy? He's a good boy, aren't you? Such a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. Um, yeah, he just loves a little snuggle. This is where this is where he just loves to be on the sofa so five minutes i'm gonna eat my bar and i'm gonna wash my hair because it's not in a good way guys i think it's a week tomorrow so i need to wash it nice guys do, 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 no one can hear nice guys nice guys nice guys penny going to bed 
You you are. I don't know why my eyes are like this. They look really red. They're not. I feel like it's the lighting in here. We've already tried to get Penny's bed once. Penny, my mess is blind on the stairs and I can't get it. Daddy's gonna get it. He's got it. I want this life. Night, guys. He's literally living his best life. Okay. Night, come on then. No, we do that tomorrow. It hasn't got any battery. She's off to my iPad. She's gone back up, gone into Darcy's room. Um, I forgot to say to Darcy, oh, put Mummy's pencil down. Darcy got a new hamster, so she's been obsessed with it. Um, but she's also obsessed with the paint app that I downloaded on my iPad, and uh, she's got my pencil. So I'm just trying to, like, I've literally spent half an hour trying to get her to bed. Now I need to go and try and do it all again. I'm just coming on here to you all again for the third time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Wish me luck. I'm off to do the bed run again. And I'll speak to you in the morning. Hey everybody, welcome back. So it is a few days later now. It's actually Saturday. And I'm currently just sat here in amongst chaos. <laughs> I've just filmed a home bargains and a B and M haul, which is exciting because I've had these bags in the utility for weeks now. Um, something is leaked in one of the bags though, when I can't figure out what it is. I was thinking it might be white vinegar, but it doesn't smell like white vinegar. Um, so who knows, it's probably Zaflora, maybe it is. No, let's hope it's not Zaflora. No, the box isn't wet, it can't be Zaflora, but this, has anyone tried this yet? Smells so good. Um, but yeah, I'm just actually sitting up in my bedroom. Um, Tom is not in my good books um i was i'll show you in a minute actually because i didn't show you in the earlier clip but i ordered a tray a shower tray and the screen oh i think i did mention that actually um and yeah because we obviously we got our tiles um like back at the start of the year like i think the first week of january wasn't it yeah because he didn't have work um, so yeah, and I'm just really eager for this ensuite to be done because it's a bit of a nightmare. Our shower that's over our bath is just awful. Um, how long have we been in this house? 2009. So what is that? 50, it is 15 years old. The bathroom is awful. Like I'm talking the radiator is rusted. Like it needs to be replaced because it eventually the, it's just going to corrode away and then it'll just leak everywhere. Um, so I've really, really been on Tom's case to get this done. Yeah, at this point, I am just think I might just, if you can hear screaming, Darcy and Penny are playing down in Darcy's bedroom. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be YouTubing, like, how to plumb and install a shower, um, because I'm just a bit sick of it now, guys. Um, obviously, I don't want to be a moaner, but I am. Um, anyway, I'm just popping my Epsom um, salts into my little jar that I got from b &M. I love these jars. They are on special by the minute for three pounds. Um, and they're the same ones that I've got in my um, utility with my washing tablets in. So I just thought, oh, I should have got the bigger bag. I just thought this would look a little bit better or a little bit more um, appealing to the eye in here. And I've seen on um, Amazon, you can get these little wooden um, scoops. I'm gonna move you back a little bit for quite close aren't we yeah i assume that you can get these little wooden scoops um to like pop in the bath but i've got two so i've got this one here for the um epsom salts and i'm going to get the other one for the magnesium flakes um but yeah i could probably do with another bag in there the, this is what i need um now i'm doing my workout program i started that when did i start that at the start of the year i think it was um yeah my legs are in bits every single week but i'm gonna go and pop the new mat on the doorstep um it's got little bumblebees on from home bargains i love it so i'll show you that in a second and i'm just gonna try and sort out the chaos that's up here because it's all over my floor i love these dash cans this is the peach one um found these in tesco so yeah it's got zero calories and it's like an infused sparkling water um i said it before sometimes you know you just need like the fizz 
exactly what I need today. So today's actually my rest day. So I did all of my workouts during the week. Um, so last week was half term. Oh my gosh, complete write off. I only managed to get two workouts done. So I figured if I can do four, I mean, ideally I'd like to do five workouts a week. Um, I was doing three. This week I've done four. So if I can do that for the next couple of weeks, I'll be really happy. Um, and then work up to five. But I was thinking if I can do like Monday to Friday, and at the moment I think I had Wednesday as my rest day. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so I'm doing like Monday, Tuesday, rest, Thursday, Friday, and then I have the weekends off. Um, so today we've just dropped Ollie to a party. He's at one of his friend's parties. And then Sunday we usually have football. It was called off last week because what is with this weather we've been having? It's really crazy. Um, but Tom has been down to do like a pitch inspection. It is wet, but he said it's fine. It's not like unplayable. It's not waterlogged. Last week it was waterlogged, so they definitely couldn't play. Um, so yeah, I just thought if I can do the workouts during the week, um, Penny will sit with my sister if she's at home. Um, she was in the office in London on Tuesday, so she was then um, with me just out in the gym, which is fine. She, she can watch a film. It's not like a huge problem. She's really good to be up to be fair to her. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm really pleased that I've done it all this week. So I got up early, I washed my hair. Um, so it's the second time I've used that new shampoo. I haven't showed you actually, I said I was going to. I'll go and get it in a minute and I'll show you. Um, but it's a Redkin one and I really, really like it. Um, yeah, I just really love how it's leaving my hair. So obviously this has been washed this morning, so it's freshly washed. But I don't feel like it's overly silky you know like sometimes when you wash your hair and it's silky and you just can't do anything with it it's almost like better the next day um i feel like my hair feels like the next day after you've washed it so yeah i do really really like it i am overdue i think a bit of a top up on my color um but i'm liking this darker blonde um i think they call it like a bronze is it um so i think i'm just gonna refresh this bit because this is a bit dark but i'm not gonna go back as light as i was i just think i prefer it um, like this. So the plan for today, goodness knows when Tom's going to be home. At this point, I've kind of like given up. So I'm making a bit of a plan. So I need to pop over to my parents. They're not home yet, but we're going to be doing a bit of holiday, um, uh, what's the idea? Like holiday, um, shopping, I guess. So we've got a holiday book to Cyprus in May. Um, and it's to the hotel that we've, well, this would be the third time that we're going back. And I love it, but it's, I don't love it that much that I would want to go back. So basically the reason I booked it, I know you're probably thinking, well, why did you book it then? Um, my dad booked it for my mum's 60th um, and we were all supposed to be going as a family, but obviously things change and nobody else is going now apart from like me and my parents, well, obviously my family, like me, Tom, the kids and my parents. So I've just said, because um, my mum and dad went here actually the very first time we went so they've been to this hotel once but they didn't come the last time we went it was when penny was a baby um and i said to tom like i love the beach um it's amazing nissy beach is oh it's honestly amazing but the hotel is it's like a five star on two as well but it is looking a little bit tired now and from what i can gather there's not been any renovations or anything done so i was like it's costing a lot of money and do i really that'll probably be our only holiday this year um I mean, as it, at this moment, it, things might change, but the plan at the moment is that would be our only holiday. And do we want to, would we want to try somewhere else? So I was having a quick look and there's some really lovely hotels in Turkey. Um, and we really like Turkey. We've not been with Ollie or Penny. Um, Darcy's been a few times, um, like prior to Ollie being born. So I'm trying, my dad's never been that keen on Turkey, but I'm trying to talk him into it. So I said I would pop over and we could have a little look. Because we need to change it like within the next couple of weeks, um, really, because the balance is due on this Cyprus one in a couple of weeks. So we need to kind of like make up our minds. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, and what happens with that. But Darcy's got her ballet mock exam tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be a busy old day. So we've got football in the morning. Then I'm going to have to come home um, get Darcy ready for exams, like her hair, make sure her uniform's all up together. Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world because it is only a mock, but obviously, ideally, it needs to be like as per it's going to be for the exam. So that's exciting. And she's going to be having a few auditions coming up for her school's show later in the year. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see 
that um but other than that not much else really we've popped out quickly this morning so i've taken um i did a huge order on h&m a few weeks ago for some bits and pieces main it was, it was all actually i was gonna say mainly for penny it was just all for penny there was no, nothing for anybody else in there um because they had like 15 percent off and then i had a few vouchers so um but i ordered it all in three to four because some of her two to three in like the legging sets are a little bit short in the leg and i thought she's not going to get the use out of it anyway the three to fours come and is miles too big so i literally other than two things i had to take everything back so we did that and it was so busy um and i've got darcy a new little skincare set so we got that and then we've just come home um but i think there was a few bits i was going to actually show you so i'll go and grab the shampoo in a second but I picked up a few bits from as if I can get up. I'm literally sat on my floor. Um, I'm just going to take you off of the tripod a second. Yeah, so this is the chaos of my room. So I need to, this is all the Eastery bits, so I'll take that down. I was just going to do some little um, clips on my phone so I can make like a little reel um, and the B&M bits. But this is a problem. When I film up here, it's all well and good, but then I need to obviously take it all down. So when I did an Asda order... I got a new um, throat to go on the bed because I really loved how the snowflake one looked at Christmas. And up until, um, like literally two weeks ago when I got this, I still had that on there with the Christmas tree cushions. Um, and I just love the size of them. I just love how it looks with the one, two, three each side. So I got this one. Um, I'll link it below, but it's just from Asda and so are these. But I really love those. Um, and obviously it's all neutral colours. I've only got the curtain shut, guys, because if I show you... Can you see the glare coming through? I mean, it's beautiful. I'm not complaining. But it really, really... Um, oh, my goodness. Look at that light coming in. It's so bright. Look at that sky. We... I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. We haven't seen a blue sky um, this bright in so many weeks. Um, it's just been so wet and rainy. So it's, we haven't really had a chance to go in the garden and tidy up. Because there's some, like, plants that need taken out that have died over the winter making me look really it is and it's so bright that's the only problem up here so i had to, when i was doing my haul i had to pull the curtains because it's just so bright um but yeah i was saying to tom in some of our flower beds um i'll flip the camera around in a second one of my um little trees is flowering it's one of my nans actually that i had um from their house after um she passed away my granddad passed away we brought some of the plants back so we could obviously use them in our gardens but there's a couple of things that have died um that need to be taken out ready for new plants this year and then tom's going to finish the log store that's been like it for two years so i can plant like a wild garden on the top because i feel like that would be lovely um i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it from up here excuse the bits all over the place i'm going to see if i can zoom in a second can you see in amongst all the mess down there i don't know if it's going to pick up through the glass no it's not going to that's so annoying um i'll take you outside in a second and show you whoa but it is showing you the fingerprints of penelope all over my glass um but yeah it's so lovely but obviously we just need to have a bit of a tidy up because there's toys just everywhere out there um, and I'm going to put some of the dried lavender. It's, can you hear all that? It's like dropping off in the bag. But I think I'm going to put some of that in the little vase I've got on top. Do I do that or is it going to go over? Maybe I'll just put that in the hallway. Actually. That probably is a bad idea. Um, but this is a little bumblebee mat. Put this out of the way. How cute is that to go on the doorstep out the front? Um, I've still got the Christmas one down there, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go put that down in a minute. But should we have a look in the ensuite? Right, so excuse in here, it is still a building site, obviously. Um, but this is the tray, the screen isn't up here yet. So this, obviously, imagine this all plasterboarded, cause that's, it has to be finished. Actually, I don't even think he's got the plasterboard yet, which is annoying. Um, but this is the tray, so this is how long it's gonna be. So it's going from there all the way, to there so it's a really good size it's 1400 long by 700 wide and then the screen comes to about there so it's like a this end is open so you just walk in and then um oh let's pop this side so what he's done here is he's just put some stud work here um so the plasterboard will go on top of that but this little gap here can you see that rectangle that's going to be like one of those um 
you know like when you see in the wall it looks like the shelf is built into the wall um so yeah that's what that's going to be so what we need to get for the back part i thought um for that bit there on the back if we get like some of the like mosaic -y tiles we probably only need like two strips of them um and then this here is the wall tile um and then what's the floor tile well, there is a floor tile up here somewhere oh that's the floor tile there that whitey color um obviously we've got the toilet and the sink in situ but it's not plumbed in so what we're gonna do is um run a tile along oh it's a ladybird if you can see that um we're gonna obviously run the tile just along the back of where the sink is but just put run it across the windowsill um just to get that finished nice and then the rest of it we're gonna do like what we did on the landing up here um and he started to fill all the holes and we're just literally gonna use like the bathroom paint so it's like moisture resistant on the walls rather than plaster in here because it's just obviously like an extra expense and with these walls they're very very like square and flat so it's not like the rest of our house downstairs we obviously have plaster because it's an old um I think our house was built in like the 30s or the 40s it's like a they call it like an ex-local next ex council house so they're obviously very well built but some of the walls are all over the place like it's not until you see some of the door linings when Tom's decorating and I'll be like why does it look like it's like that and he's like it's where the linings are so out of level um but yeah it is coming along but just look at that sunlight as it streams through this is my favourite room, like, in the entire house. So, this bit here, actually, so he's going to obviously have to square this off because we're going to have the tile floor in here. And then, we did have a few packs of this floor left over. Now, I thought it would be enough to do Penny's room, but apparently it's, like, two boxes short. So, we're going to put this in Penny's room as well because the carpet she's got is... Um, obviously it's been down since we did it for ollie's so it's like eight years old now and it has seen better days it's been through a lot um but yeah we are going to get the flooring done for her um but i think that's it i think i've mainly caught you up with everything um i feel like i had so much to catch you up on because i've not been on for so long but i'm gonna just crack on with some of this and get some of these bits and pieces moved out of the bedroom so I can actually see my floor again. Um, and then I'll pop on a little bit later. I think we're gonna get an Indian tonight, a curry. So we, it's not obviously part of my little diet plan, but I've been eating so well this week, I figured you're allowed a treat day. So that is the plan. Good morning, everybody. So it's um, a couple of days later now, a little bit of a strange morning so far because Ollie actually has an in-service day um so it's kind of thrown it feels like a like sunday or saturday um so it's kind of thrown my day off a little bit so obviously i've got penny and ollie home um i need to my workout program starts um afresh today so at some point i need to pop around and get that done it should be fine because my sister is at home today um but worst case scenario i can do it like when Tom gets home because Darcy's ballet isn't until um later today I just prefer to get it done like during the day if that makes sense so that it frees up my evenings a little bit um so the plan is we're actually because the kids are as you can see as you can probably hear the kids are annoying each other my hair is so knotty um so we're actually going to just pop out really quickly because on the um, coffee app that I use for our local coffee shop, I have a free coffee. So I figured we would just pop out and get um, a little gingerbread man for Penny. She loves them. And we'll grab a coffee and then we'll come back and um, I can set Ollie up with like his spellings for the week. Um, and yeah, I can, I've already got a wash load on actually. I put that on when I got up. Um, it's white, so, so it takes slightly longer just because I put it on a hotter cycle because my child's football socks are crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm actually just doing my skincare. So I'm just gonna push the door together. They are fine, but Ollie has like the loudest volume. <laughs> it is just like so loud. So I'm actually just finishing my skincare. So I've just put all of my serums on. I'm just putting my um, moisturizer on. This one's got the SPF in. So I just, obviously I just like to wait a minute or so to let everything else absorb. Um, but yeah, 
not much else planned today i have got to do a vintage parcel actually vintage is so random i've actually got a few bits that i need to upload it's been um oh i think i shared it actually in one of my cleaning videos it's just a couple of pairs of shoes that penny has outgrown um but i haven't uploaded probably this year i don't think i have anyway i think i did it like in between the christmas so i've got a few bits that i do need to pop on i went through all the pet and his um, baby blankets and her like uh like the muslin big sheets that you use for swaddling um yeah and i got those out to pop on it did make me really sad but i said to tom i think i as much as i would love another baby i think i actually know inside that i couldn't have anymore <laughs> that i just think i'm really content with what i've got um i don't think i will ever be able to say yeah i'm 100 percent done because there is something in me that would always want like another one i just love babies so much um <coughs> so i wouldn't ever just be able to say yeah that's it i'm done but i think you know when you i don't know it's like really probably sounds really odd um but you know when you no you can't have any more but you'd love another one i'm at that sort of stage so i am just slowly starting to get rid of like all the baby baby things i sold her changing mat oh i did put something on actually i put a changing mat on there um so that one that i bought for her if you've been around this long and you saw my baby shower videos um it was like the peaches collection so i sold that that was really sad packaging that up um but we didn't really ever get any use for it because her bet her nursery was never done until she well i mean she moved into that like late well like summertime last year um so she didn't really ever get any use out of it um to be honest because she was obviously like running around so changing mat was not a thing um so yeah it was quite sad that she didn't really ever get any use out of that but it is what it is somebody else is going to be enjoying it now so yeah she's just obviously she's going to be three this year three how has that happened um i have no idea I'm just going to pop some spray on. I really like this spray, actually. I've been using it for the past week or so. I got it out of my Molly May um, edit bag that I bought. It's this one. Um, I used it yesterday just to spray on top of my makeup. But you can use it as um, like a skin refreshing. It just gives you like such... Can you see that? It just gives you such a nice glow. Um, I've never like used this before. I only had it as part of that edit. Um, but yeah, I am going to go and get Penny dressed because she sounds like she's had... She may be coming up. <laughs> she sounds like she's had enough of Ollie. Are you okay? What's happening? Can you tell Mummy? What is it? Can you tell me? What's been happening down there? What's happened? Are you getting grumpy with Ollie? Now, do you want to? Oh, watch your door. Do you want to get dressed? And um, do you want to go and take a coffee to Daddy at work? No, do you want to get a gingerbread man? No. No. Why are we sad? Hey? What are we grumpy for? Oh, you had to up. Well, listen, should we tell everybody on Mummy's camera that Darcy <laughs> So she's grumpy because Darcy has got a hamster called Theodore. We've had him for a week now and Penny absolutely, you love him, don't you? <laughs> She's so good. She actually picks him up so gentle. Hang on, because I'm telling you how good you pick him up. She picks him up and she holds him in her hand like this. And he's got really long fur, but she loves him so much. But she just doesn't understand that he needs to have a little bit of sleep. So have we had the hamster out today? I want the hamster to wake up. You want him to wake up? Yes. Yeah. He will wake up in a minute. Yeah. Um, did you tell everybody that the hamster yeah. was walking on Penny's hands? And you hold him very carefully, don't you? So if we go and get a coffee and take it to Daddy, when we come back, the hamster might be up. And also, did you forget we need to go around shishes because Mummy's got to do a workout. You can go on your scooter. Mm. Yeah. Should we go and get? Should we go and pick some clothes out to get dressed? Because mm. yeah. you still got your. Like, who bought you these pajamas? Do you remember? Mm. Did Santa get you these? No, Elf. The Elf got you these. Good girl. The elf, the elf. You're scared of the elf? Yeah. You don't need to be scared of the elf. The elf plays tricks. He's funny. Mm. The elf's funny, isn't he? Yeah. But we've got Ollie home today on in service day. So are you wearing that out? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Where's my jacket for the melon tracksuit? Hung up in your wardrobe. I did it last night. Okay. Um, hello Clifford. 
yeah i'll put you in the window still a second yeah so um she's got her exam in a couple of weeks so um really annoyingly though she has to wear um satin ballet shoes for her exam so usually they just wear like the leather ballet shoes so we went and got those i think like two weeks ago so while she's just training she puts like some socks with grip on so i think she's got some like air hop socks um over them and then when we were in there yesterday i looked down because i could see like they were just they looked weird on her feet and the whole seam is just come unstitched which was annoying um but the shop isn't local so i just, just tried to stitch it up myself last night so i think they should hold up but it's just so annoying because it's all like really expensive um but yeah so i've got to work out today i think it's where to at misha's house oh i'm coming yeah you're coming okay Yay. um we've got a printer spellings out so i'll do that because i think you've got a test tomorrow haven't you no yeah it says you've got a test on a tuesday and mm -hmm. oh actually i ordered clifford some yaks from pets at home so i need to run in and pick that order up we'll do that as well okay so yeah on um pets at home if any of you have dogs whatever that like yaks he loves them but i have to get him the extra large ones um they have three for two on so they're 10 99 each i think for the extra large so i got three for 21 pound and some pence so that is actually a bargain so i need to go i did a click and collect on pets at home so I just because i like him to have something Mom. to keep him occupied when i'm not here right yeah um yeah because he's been a little bit naughty i got home from yesterday and he chewed the remote up which is really annoying because he's got chew roots and everything and a few days last week when i walked back bear in mind i'm only out for about an hour when i go to um my sister's to do my work i'd got home and he's had like He'd got a few little blocks out of the Duplo tub. Um, so there's a few elephants that have lost trunks, legs. So I don't know why he's doing that all of a sudden. Um, I think they go through like a bit of a behaviour. Don't stand the back down, baby. I think they go through like a behaviour thing again when they hit two, which he is two now. Well, he is. Yeah, he was two in January. Um, so mm, my sister's dog did a similar thing. So I'm hoping no. it's just a phase because he's really good normally. And obviously he goes on his walks and everything. Um, no lead on. And he's got, yeah, he's very good and he would no lead on. Um, yeah, and he's got all of his chew roots and his yaks and things like that. So I don't know why he's doing it. Hannah. Right, Penny, come on, baby. Hello, Cliffy. So yeah, we're gonna just get ready now, head out the door and um, grab a coffee. Do